Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're continuing on in our Onyx Basics tutorials talking about effects part two, which is pan and tilt effects. So I'm gonna select some lights here, go to effects, or rather go to pan tilt, and then go to effects. Now we see something a little bit different when we work with pan tilt. You see my effects link is on from the using an effects macro previously. I can turn that off if the flashing annoys you. Truthfully, it doesn't matter at this moment. So this looks a little bit different than when we worked with individual parameters because we've got swing pan, tilt, speed, and figure, which is a little bit different than the swing, speed, mode, and multiplier, but very similar. So to work with pan and tilt effects, it's actually really simple. We'll go ahead and dial in our swing. I'm gonna do 50% on tilt and uh, less than 25 on pan. Then we dial in our speed here, just using my scroll wheel over top of this. Once we see a speed we like, we're happy with it. We now have the figure. Now the figure is how pan and tilt, how the two attributes relate to each other. And so the default is this straight line and truth be told, while it works occasionally, it's not my favorite. Things like circles tend to look a lot nicer. We can see here, we can go through all these different figures and there are many of them. I'm gonna choose the figure eight. Now, just like any other effect, we'll go to effects timing. And for a good ballyhoo, I like to set a wave of something like seven for a group of 10 fixtures because that makes it seem kind of random. Then if you need to, go back to effects and maybe, you know, rain down in a little bit on this thing. Yeah. Once you've got something you like, go ahead and record it. Same way as before, pressing record, pressing the tile of an empty playback. And then we'll go ahead and we will give it a name. Perfect. Now there's a couple things I wanna show you here at the end here. Um, the first is combining effects. We'll do that in a second. That'll actually be second. But before that, I want to talk about stopping effects. So if you've got an effect on an override fader like this, okay, it's just here on an override and you're bringing that guy up, you bring it down and it stops. Pretty simple. You know, same with the color. You bring it up, it goes. You bring it down, it stops. Intensity, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that works if you're bringing the faders down or stopping the cues. But if you're within a longer cue list, maybe in a theatrical type show or something like that, and you need to stop the effect, here's how to do it. So for this example, I'm just going to bring up my color effect, go in my Artiste Da Vinci, and then if I go to color and effects, I see here that I can see my effects attributes, okay? In this case, cyan, then we've got magenta, which is going on, and it's got a swing and speed. To stop these, it's really just as simple as pressing stop on the swing. That's the most important one to get the stop on. You can stop the speed as well, but if you stop the swing, it truthfully doesn't matter because no matter what speed you swing 0% at, a swing of 0% still goes nowhere, okay? Once you've done that, you can go ahead and record your next cue in that same cue list. In this example, we're not gonna do that and the effect will be stopped. It's really simple. Also, in the effects macros here, there are options for the different offs. So we could do color off right here, dimmer, pan tilt, etc. And that loads these same values into the programmer. Just a swing and a speed of zero. I'm um, actually just a swing of zero. And then you're good to go. Now, when we go ahead, I'm going to clear twice here. And we take these three basic effects and combine them together we can start to see how this can get really powerful. How by just even having just a few effects and bringing the faders up and down, we're able to create a really wide variety of interesting looks, okay? Even, you know, we've got our intensity control coming in here. We go with just effect. There's a lot we can do. And that's one of the things that I like to drive home here at the end when I'm talking about effects is how with just a few simple playbacks, we're able to create a lot of really interesting, really diverse looks and just three or four faders, in this case three, I'm able to get, you know, at least 12, 15 really unique looks out of these lights. 
And that's one of the powers of effects and why uh, when people are running shows live in Onyx or services, a lot of the time they're running overrides for their effects because it can be really powerful. Now, of course, this opens up a big can of worms because there's a lot in Onyx. And we've got the rest of the videos here in this series. We're going to talk about Dylos. We're going to talk about uh, screen views and some other great stuff. But if you do want more, go grab my bonus videos. It's going to walk you through some more on effects, how to create some special things like an effects speed fader, among other things. And I'm going to show you some more resources that I have for Onyx as well. Just hop over to this page, enter your email, and you'll get that info. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this playlist below, and we'll see you here on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe, and thanks.